Markiplier. And I'm gonna teach you how to smash a bottle against your head. First, empty bottle. <sighs> then, smash the bottle. <laughs> smash! <laughs> well, this is awkward. Welcome to the show! Let's go! <laughs> This is Royal Gamer, and welcome to Royal Reviews, where it is always 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 o'clock in the morning, the conversation got boring. You said to go in your bed soon, so I snuck off to your bedroom. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. The album by Cherry Man is coming soon. Anyway, look, look, I'm just playing Five Nights at Freddy's. What could possibly go wrong? Now, I'm no expert, but whenever you say what could possibly go wrong, usually things go wrong. I don't, I don't think this game's scary. Ever, like, ever, 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 never, ever. I never have thought this game was scary. Oh, man. You probably shouldn't have said that. Oh, I think that's it. Uh, you should be going. What the fuck? Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Wait, music night. box? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, alright. So have a good night. He'll talk to me tomorrow. How sweet of you, sir! So just just hang out. I got I got some uh lights here. Where's the music box? Um so from what I know of the part one of Five Nights at Freddy's is that you have to open up doors. I played it. I remember the fan, it's just like I I had a hard time recording it, and when I finally did get into the game, I didn't like I didn't like it. It was it was like a lot of me just like opening up the camera, switching back and forth. It was boring gameplay, but I'm giving part two a new chance. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out what's going on. Okay, that 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 douchebag's right there. You stay there, Freddy boy. Okay, we got some new friends here. Uh, got a birthday room, party room. Um, everything seems to be intact. I don't see why. Oh, there I am. So, okay. What the fuck? Whoa! I think we just witnessed some instant karma, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever call Five Nights at Freddy's not scary, you're gonna get a jack in the box. What the fuck? Although we did eventually get it right, though. No, I'm winding you up. DON'T DIE ON ME! I'm speed checking everything. OH! DUCKY! No! Oh, come on! Bear suit! Hi, I'm Freddy. I'm just Freddy. Don't touch me. I'm a fun. And why do I automatically start breathing heavy in this suit? Like... YES! I'm sorry, did I just make it to night two? Yas! Oh ho ho! Ha! Well, congratulations, Cherry Man. You beat the first level. Good luck on beating the second, third, fourth, fifth, bonus six night, and the custom night on all 20 difficulty. Fuck you, Freddy! Yeah! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get very serious. We're gonna talk about the most serious, the most vile disease of mankind has ever seen. And no, we're not talking about Ebola. We're not talking about the flu. We're talking about adulthood. <laughs> If you're wondering about if you have adulthood, don't worry, there are 10 signs to know if you have it. These 10 signs will be explained to you by Dr. Kamita Einstein. 10 signs you may be an adult. Now, I personally pride myself with always being a child. I want to be a kid at heart. I don't want to grow up, and I expect the same from you guys. Unless, of course, you're already an adult, in which case, I'm so sorry. There's no cure for that. Number one. Now, if you wake up in the morning, and someone's making coffee, and you're excited, you're an adult. Number two, if you catch yourself saying, Man, Disney used to make cartoons so much better. 
or Disney used to make such great movies. What's going on now? You get excited furniture shopping. Walking into a furniture store like so Who needs Disneyland? You start sleeping early. Now your body will start hurting for no reason. What the hell did you do? You start questioning, did I sleepwalk? Did I do some parkour while I was sleepwalking? Did, did I maybe climb on the roof and jump off, land on my back, come back into the bed, go to sleep, take off my shoes and make sure that no one even notices that I was outside? Now number six is you actually start thinking about the next day. Uh, for instance, what I'm saying is like, oh, it's Saturday. When you're young, this is what it sounds like. Hey man, you want to come party? Yeah man, we're saying party, eh? Now when you're an adult, this is more like what the scenario would go like. Hey man, you want a party? Well, I would, but I don't really want to drink because, damn, last time I woke up with a hangover and, man, I couldn't do anything on Sunday. Number seven, most of your photos consist of your pets. Eight. Now, if you're always worried about gas prices, then you're an adult, my friend. My God, these gas prices are so high, I probably should buy a Prius. Then you, my friend are a lame adult and that's even worse than just being an adult which sorry guys you have a Prius I'm so sorry number nine and then of course there's the vacation times like for instance vacation off of work or just vacations in general they become so important number 10 if you know what a 401k is then you my friend are an adult like immediately if you know what a 401k immediately you're an adult. If you got less than five and not the last one, then you are still a child, my friend, which is awesome. You joined the ranks of me being a little baby. See that rhymes? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Well, good news, guys. I only have three of those ten symptoms, and I'm just going to pretend that I don't know what the hell a 401k is. But please don't let me know. I want to stay as child as long as possible. Anyway, thank you, Royal, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Royal Reviews. Let's go! This is my box. Ooh, not perfect. My box. It's right here. Shoulder slightly more. Not as much as I like, but it's my box. It's my box. My box of doom.